Michelle here. I'm here with Peter Benz, record corner for the fastest piano in Guinness World Record, which he broke four years ago in 2012. So, can you tell us about it? It started like very early. I was about uh, two or three years old uh, when they, uh, when my parents discovered that I had talent for piano. And later, you know, I was playing everything so fast. And uh, my piano teachers always told me, oh, "You should play it slower, slower." And uh, I, w I just wanted to play, you know, fast. When I was in high school, uh, told me about this Guinness World Record, and they suggested that I should broke this record because I play so fast. Um, what was your practice routine like? weeks before the actual Guinness World Record attempt every day by you know just practicing my speed and uh, recording myself and I slowed it down the, the audio recording I counted if I matched the current record holder I was pretty sure I could break the record because every time it was more than the, the previous record so so the time that you actually broke it was it your personal best or have you done more I have done more I actually have uh, done uh, 915 one time and then later on you went on to study film scoring so what brought you into that uh, when I was uh, about nine or ten years old I was so inspired uh, by John Williams and especially the score of Star Wars which is one of my favorite movies I had decided that I want to learn film scoring and I want to compose music so John Williams was the one to open up my musical taste and and uh, the reason I decided to go to Berkeley to study film scoring Okay, so guys, let's give him a challenge right here. April is a tough month for our readers because it's like the month of public exam. And so I was wondering if you could do a piece um, about a girl who's about to step into the exam room and she's really scared. It's kind of sad, you know? Mm -hmm. Happy ending? Okay, okay. Yeah, that, that was Thanks. amazing. Hey, we're Team Bandit here on Young Post and we're going to try out reading some Cantonese. If you can guess what we're saying, some of them are song lyrics.